All aboard the bullet train, where the ride is wild, the assassins are aplenty, and the humor is as dark as the tunnels. Our story begins with Yuichi Kimura, known as the father, embarking on a bullet train journey from Tokyo to Kyoto. His mission? To find the person who attacked his son, Wataru. You might think he could have just taken the regular train for such a family reunion, but hey, this is the action thriller genre, there's no room for leisurely travel. On the same train, we have our protagonist, Ladybug, an operative with a streak of bad luck. His recent missions have had unfortunate outcomes, including accidental deaths. If you're in the assassination business and your success rate is plummeting, it's time to reconsider your career choices. But the character roster doesn't stop there. Two British assassin brothers, Lemon and Tangerine, are also on board. They're not here for the scenic views, they're transporting the sun and a mysterious briefcase. Their destination? None other than the White Death, a Russian-born Yakuza crime lord. You'd think the Yakuza would go for something more subtle than White Death for their leader's codename, but hey, this is the land of creative aliases. As the bullet train speeds along the tracks, things take a sinister turn. The sun meets a bitter end through poisoning, and Ladybug decides to seize the mysterious briefcase. You know, the one everyone on the train seems to be obsessed with. But his actions don't go unnoticed. Enter the wolf, another assassin who recognizes Ladybug from her wedding, where her wife met an unfortunate fate. The wolf believes Ladybug had a hand in it, and you can guess how this confrontation goes, let's just say that the wolf's attempted vengeance doesn't go as planned. Meanwhile, back to the father's quest for revenge. He tracks down the prince, who may have pushed Wataru. However, the prince isn't your typical villain. She's got a cunning plan up her sleeve, which involves manipulating the father into assassinating his boss, the White Death. And she has a henchman holding Wataru hostage in the hospital, because what's an action thriller without a hostage situation? Now, let's talk about Lemon and Tangerine. Lemon, having crossed paths with Ladybug before an omission gone awry in Johannesburg, decides to negotiate. He'll return the coveted briefcase in exchange for his freedom. But Lemon isn't buying Ladybug's story, and he's convinced that Ladybug was the one behind the son's untimely demise. An intense showdown ensues, and you'll find yourself wondering if fruit-themed codenames bring good luck. As chaos unfolds on the speeding bullet train, there's also a subplot featuring the hornet. She's been busy poisoning people with some exotic snake venom. A struggle between Ladybug and the Hornet ensues, and let's just say that it's not your average battle. The conclusion of their encounter might leave you hissing with laughter, or not. Oh, oh. oh bitch. Oh, shit, man. Do you have a backup? What do you think, bitch? On the same bullet train journey, we have the Elder. He's not just any passenger, he plays a significant role in this high-stakes drama. The Elder recognizes the Prince's voice and has a bone to pick with her. As it turns out, the prince is no stranger to him. The elder informs her that Wataru, who was taken hostage by her henchman, is safe. But what's his connection to the whole situation? Well, he's not just a random bystander, he has a score to settle with the White Death, who killed his wife while taking over the Yakuza. With this revelation, it becomes clear that everyone on the train is linked to tragic events, vendettas, and a thirst for vengeance. And this train ride is about to reach its explosive climax as it hurtles toward Kyoto. The White Death finally makes his grand entrance. He hired the assassins, hoping they'd eliminate each other. But little did he know that Carver, his wife's killer, was replaced by Ladybug on the train. The explosive contents of the briefcase become a game-changer, leading to a spectacular showdown, albeit one with a fiery conclusion. The surviving characters are left to deal with the aftermath of the train's dramatic crash in downtown Kyoto. As the dust settles, Maria arrives to retrieve Ladybug, and Japanese authorities begin the cleanup process.